Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3D printing blog. Today we're going to be giving a quick snapshot overview to show how 3D printing works. To demonstrate this, we're going to be using an Object 30 machine. So, 3D printing, in one sentence, involves taking a computer-aided design file, clicking print, and having it build before you. How does it work? Well, in this case, it's very much like a 2D printer that you might have there in your office. You have a print head moving back and forth along the X and Y axis. However, instead of ink, it's actually depositing a resin that is instantly cured with the UV light that you see here. Now, in addition to our X and Y axis, we're also working with a Z axis, our third dimension, which is the build tray itself. After each pass, the tray drops, allowing these layers to stack on top of one another as it prints the part in all three dimensions, X, Y, and Z. Now when the printing concludes, you're left with this. The part on the right here is a toy submarine. When you compare what you're looking at here to the CAD file, you'll quickly notice that something's not quite right. The part is covered in a wax-like support material, which holds everything in place as it's being cured. Looking at the CAD file, let's take a look at these fins. As the machine builds the part from bottom to top, these fins would seemingly create a problem as the material can't simply float in midair here while the machine cures it. If it weren't for the support material, it would simply fall to the ground. Therefore, when your part comes out of the machine, any open space between the part and the build tray must be filled in with this wax-like support material. The material is then rinsed away and, presto, you're left with your part. Now the interesting thing about how this process works is its complete and utter disregard for complexity. To illustrate this point, I like to compare it to 2D printing. Allow me to present to you two different works of art. The one on the left was done by myself. I call it, um, well I actually haven't named it, uh, and the one on the right was done by MC Escher and it's called Relativity. Now, if you were to print these out right there in your office using your two-dimensional printer, you wouldn't be surprised by the fact that it takes your printer just as long to print out my picture as it does MC's. The printer doesn't stop to gasp at how magnificent MC's work is, nor does it laugh at the fact that mine was done in Microsoft Paint. It simply deposits the ink where it's needed. The same is true for 3D printing. So, looking at this part here, if we hit estimate, right here it's going to show us how much time is required to build this part. 3 hours and 21 minutes. Great. Now, let's take the part, copy it, and let's make five copies. Okay, now we're going to hit estimate and look at the time. Four hours. So you're literally building five times as much, but it added less than an hour of total build time. Because as far as the machine's concerned, the only difference is the print head now has to swipe all the way down to the end of the tray. So you can see the time savings that you acquire whenever you batch parts together. And these parts all happen to be the exact same, but they could be completely different from one another. Now the build platform for the Object 30 is just under 12 by 8 by 6 inches. So you're somewhat limited in what you can do. But you can see how if you had one of Object's Eden 500 machines, which has a much larger platform, you can literally build dozens upon dozens of small to medium sized parts all at once in a matter of hours. And if you don't mind me plugging my sponsors real quick, that's exactly what HD Rapid Prototypes does. You send in your CAD files, they batch everyone together, and generally they ship all their orders out the following day. So that was a brief overview of 3D printing. Thank you very much for watching you guys, and I'll see you next time.